Hey guys, Casey Golan here from Ad 10. I want to talk to you today. Oh, I've got a question for you actually. Do you have staff that struggle or you've got a team that wins? See, the challenge for a lot of business owners is um, they're not really trained on how to build teams. And once you get your message to market right, which is when you're able to sell a lot of products, once you start getting, uh, you start adding team members or staff, as you probably call them, to your team, you'll get to a point where you start to get snowed under, where you start to get stressed, and where you start to have to put out fires for your team members, and also try and do your role, and that can be really overwhelming. So the secret is to learn how to build a team rather than hiring staff. And yet the problem for a lot of small business owners is they just don't know how to do that, and they've never been trained on it. And there's so many coaches out there saying, marketing, you've got to do marketing. The reality is, You've got to create a leadership business. So I just want to talk to you about that in this video and teach you how to do it. And uh, I've got a training coming up in 30 days. You've got exactly 30 days today on the 9th and 10th of November for my Ad10 coaching clients, which is all about building a dream team, which is how to build, train, and then lead a team in your business that can build your business without you having to be in the day-to-day. -day. So it frees you up from being stuck in the business to so you can focus on growing the business. And uh, I'm pretty pumped about it. And uh, something I've been doing for 21 years now as a business coach working with the businesses. And if you've seen the results my clients have got from anywhere from BW, uh, the BRW winners to um, international award winners and national award winning businesses, building a team is a critical element to the success of a small business that grows past that one million mark up to the 10, 20 plus million. It is all about building teams so you can build, put people into your business to grow your business. So let me take, take, take you through that. I'm gonna do a series of these videos over the next uh, couple of weeks. So I just lost, lost a bit of connection there. So let's take a walk. I'll talk about this quickly. Um, I'm gonna do a series of uh, talks over the next few days about how to build a dream team. And you're gonna pick up some gold from that. And uh, if you'd like to join me in my coaching program, you can learn this firsthand, get the frameworks, get all the tutorials and get the processes and work with me and my team and my other, other clients to build a dream team in your business. So you can build a team that builds your business without you having to do the work the day to day so you can focus on what you're best at. So just in this video, I'm gonna talk about um, um, building a winning team. The, the challenge or why it's really important, why it's really important to build a team that wins uh, rather than just hiring people. See, a lot, of, a lot of small business people, they're really good at what it is that they start to do and the business grows and then they need to start hiring people. And that's kind of their train of thought is, hey, I need to hire someone, I need to find someone to do a role. The shift needs to be from doing a role to winning. You and what you need to, um, what the training you need to take part in is, uh, is learning how to build a team that wins. And building a team that wins, whether it's netball, whether it's football, whether it's soccer, whether it's NRL, um, whether that's league or whether that's union um, for rugby, there's certain positions on the field and there's certain characteristics that those players that fill those positions need to have. Same thing in business whether you're looking for salespeople. Salespeople are wired differently to admin, to other parts of the, um, your business. And there's ways that you can find people that fit specific roles within your business, but not just find them, test them on application, um, on coming to your business, so that you can see that they're a fit, not just for your business, but a fit for a winning team. And that's what I'm gonna be taking my clients through on the 9th and 10th of November is um, is testing your team for talent, testing them for the talent in not just doing the role, but in, so, in also for whether they fit into your team and whether they fit the role that they are applying for from a DNA point of view. Are they wired for that role? There's a process that I use in my team um, for my business, my clients' businesses, where I train my, my uh, clients on how to assess team members before they hit the floor in your business. But then, what do we do once they hit the floor? 
So we look at the talent that we bring in to the team. We look at the training that we do for them. We look at the tools that they use, the documents they, that they use, and the different types of um, talks that you need to have with your team so you can take it from staff members to team members and for team members that will win. So when you build your team, you're looking to build a bunch of people that work towards your vision and will, uh, will win, whether that's getting sales, whether that's getting production out, so that you can rely on the right people in the right positions doing the right work at the right time. Now, I've got a bit of a, an acronym that I use, which is called GSDBTWOD, which is the, the, the nirvana for me and my teams is getting people that can get shit done before time without drama. That's sort of like the, that's the, <laughs> that's the thing that I really aim for. And once you get people in each of the positions in your team that can do that, you've got a winning team, then the reliability that, um, or the lack of reliability and the lack of productivity and the lack of cohesiveness that most small business owners complain about uh, for team members in their team will disappear because you've built a team that's ready to win. And there's a steps for that, there's a science for it. There's also an art to it as well. And that's what I want to take um, everyone through on the 9th and 10th of November. So look, if you're new to me and you're not in, the, uh, in my coaching group, if you'd like to, just type in the message section here, just type in details and we can send you some details about the training that I'll be taking people through in 30 days time. And if you'd like to join us, I'll leave you some details on what you can do for that. So anyway, um, to move from a struggling staff to a, a winning team, there's a definite process, there's a system to it. And over the next few days, I'm gonna be sharing it with you. Anyway, this is to get the ball rolling. It's been a while since I've been on Facebook Live. So I'm looking forward to uh, sharing more over the next couple of weeks. You take care.